in Job chapter 38, verse 1 to 41, the, then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkens counsel my words without knowledge? Now gird up your loins like a man, and I will answer you and you instruct me. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who set its measurement, since you know? Or who stretched the line on it? On um, what were its bases sunk? Or who laid the cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted with joy. Or who enclosed the sea with doors? When bursting forth when it went out from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swarming man, and I placed boundaries on it, I set a bolt and doors, and I said, Thrust far, you shall come, and no further, and here shall your proud ways stop. Have you ever in your life commanded the morning and caused dawn know its place, that it may take hold of the ends of the earth, and that we could be shaken out of it. It changes this change, change like light under the seal, and they stand forth like a garment. From the wicked, their light is withheld, and uplifting arm is broken. Have you entered the springs of the sea or walked? In the recess of the deep, have you had the gates of death been revealed to you? Or, or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Have you understood the expanse of the earth? Do tell me, tell me if you know all this. Where is the way to the dwelling of the light and the darkness? Where is the place that you may take it? to his territory, and that you may discern the path to his home. You know, for you were born there, and the number of your days is great. Have you entered the storehouses of the snow, or have you seen the warehouse, storehouses of hell, have, which I have reserved for the time of distress, for the days of war and battle? Where is the way? that the light is divided, or the east wind scatters on the earth. Who has cleft a channel for the flood, or a way for the thunderbolt to bring rain on the land without its people, or on the desert without man in it, to satisfy waste, to satisfy the waste and desolate land, and to make the sea of grass sprout. Has the rain a father, or who has begun to drop of dew? From whose womb has come the ice and the frost of heaven? Who has given it birth? Water becomes hard like stone, and the surface of the deep imprisoned. Can you bind the chains of the Pleiades? Pl pl or who's in the course of Orion? Can you break forth the constellations in its season and guide the bear and the satellites? Do you know the ordinance of heaven and fix the rule of the earth? Can you lift up your voice to the clouds so that an abundance of water will cover you? Can you send forth light that you may go and say to you, here we are. Who has put wisdom in the innermost being, or given understanding to your to the mind? Who can count the clouds by wisdom, or chip the water jars of heaven? When the dust hardens into a mass, and the clouds and pots thicken together, can you hunt the prey for the lion, or satisfy the appetite of young lions? When they crouch in the dens and lie in wait for the lair, who prepares for a raven and 
is nourishment, but it cries to God and wonders about without food. Not about you, but when I read these verses, it just reminds me that God is so big, so great, and He's so awesome. How can we have compared our lives to God? God gives us all we need. All we need to do is put God first in our lives. Say it and humble ourselves enough to say that we can't do anything without God. We need God in everything. We need God in wisdom in running our governments. We need God in everything. And this country is trying to take God out. Is is that country really better out with better without God in it? No, we got crying, we got crying, we got kids who are fatherless because they the parents aren't married. We got people who are doing drugs, trying to find anything to fill the void. And only one thing can fill the void, that's Jesus Christ. Do you need you need Jesus Christ today? If you want to fill that void with anything but Christ, you gotta use a wasteless you're, you're, your life will be wasteless. Only one thing can fill that void in your life, and that's Jesus Christ. And if you need Jesus Christ today, you need Him. And you call 188-NEED-HIM, and they will help lead a person relationship with Jesus Christ. Don't wait another day. Ask Jesus in your life today. Help fill that void.